Hi, I'm Jessica Kramer for MRC TV. Our government doesn't care about us. A morally neutral government, which doesn't exist, thinks that their only moral obligation towards their citizens is to mask their problems and lessen the severity of the natural consequences which would deter them and others from making such destructive choices. Take the Biden administration's approach to harm reduction. Part of the insanity of it is that its focus is on equity of all things. In a briefing paper published in 2019, it said, quote, needle and syringe programs are often perceived to be focused on people who inject opioids, which can be less inclusive for people who inject stimulants from attending, end quote. It went on to say, quote, wheel filters have a greater capacity for removing bacteria and adulterants and are particularly valuable for people using home-baked methamphetamine. However, they are prohibitively expensive for people to purchase privately, end quote. One would think a government willing to spend $30 million on this grant program to make drug use safer for the addicted would rather just spend the money on drug treatment for the addicted. So you have to ask yourself, why aren't we? Do we really prefer a nation of addicts? Who does this benefit? Why are we giving drug users smoking kits, which may or may not at one point have included crack pipes that some cities have previously provided? Does it sound likely they will responsibly use the alcohol wipes and lip balm? Do we really think we're doing drug addicts a favor, passing out syringes and condoms under the guise that we're stopping the spread of further disease among the addicted while we enable the disease to remain addicted? Does it sound wise to provide safe injection sites, otherwise known as, quote, non-judgmental environments, to drug users only to further enable them to abuse drugs? Instead of treating the addiction, we reduce the risk of addiction. It reminds me of those parents in high school who would break the law and be present for their teenagers' underage drinking parties, assuming that by watching children consume alcohol, they would be somehow safer. Sure, they might be immediately safer, but by enabling the bad choice, they're in turn endorsing the bad choice, like parents who give their teenagers contraception and call it practicing safe sex. They're communicating that they don't think their child can choose the good, and they attempt to alleviate the natural consequences, which only further enables them to keep choosing the wrong choice because the deep-seated consequences go more unnoticed. This is exactly what we've done with sex education in this country, as well as women's health. Instead of teaching what sex is and what it's meant for, we've relativized it. Instead of learning how the woman's body actually works and realizing that fertility is a sign of health, we've altered it. Whether it's our disordered moral order or the ailing reason for a woman's health woes, we provide a Band-Aid solution, contraception. This is because of the nature of our disordered polity, a polity ordered towards nothing, an order that promotes license without virtue or responsibility. In order to solve the crisis of addiction, whether that be drugs, pornography, sex, alcohol, or any other substance or substitute that is afflicting the hearts of our countrymen, we need to heal the source of the wound. If you liked this video, be sure to like, comment, and share it with your friends so our message reaches more people. For more great content, subscribe to our YouTube and Rumble pages, and follow us on Facebook and Twitter. You can also check us out at mrctv.org. For MRC TV, I'm Jessica Kramer.